So he's told them that he wants the prison. Nothing about Michelle. Don't war. <sighs> Hello. It does echo. It definitely does. Wait, hold on. This isn't the prison. Oh wow, so we definitely haven't skipped an episode. It's kind of cool that Herschel's like a getaway driver, isn't he? Look at the guns and everything. <sighs> well, I'd want to be ready if I was a sitting duck. That's the thing, he can't do anything if anything happens to him there, right? So that's the thing, it's not all of us, it's Rick, Herschel, and Daryl. I'm surprised that Herschel's gone. Like, why did Herschel go? Of all people, I kind of expected him to stay. And that kind of worries me a bit, because Herschel not being where... Wait, where's Merle? Eh? I... I think maybe there's people here. Oh, what? Get that smile away from me. We have a lot to talk about. Clearly. Whoa. That light is supposed to kind of balance out this light. And I think it does work, so turned it on. How on earth have we gotten to that point? I could have killed you all, I didn't. Don't like him. Of course I don't. Whoa! I'm gonna remove my weapon. Show that I mean to negotiate in good faith. I'd like you to do the same. Something more about this man. There's something not right. He is playing a game. Suit yourself. I'm gonna scrim. Like, almost like the superiority complex. Like, he's just like... Treating people like children. Oh! Come on, Daryl, get another line of sight, please. I don't feel right. Keep it running. This isn't. Nah, man. Oh. There we go. So, where's Andrea? Why is Andrea not a part of these conversations? Oh, shit. Yeah, why's your boy already in there? He's here? Yep. Philip's on his own accord, man. Andrew does not have him on a leash. What's going on? Nothing. Come. I swear to God she's obsessed with this bedroom, man. Or maybe it's just me. Too many people have died for no reason. Let's end this. I Save agree the with that the sentiment. Threat. But like... We can solve this. I heard about the raids. But the heads. Maggie. Merle did that. No. You Whoa. know what I'm talking about. We're here to move forward. Well, maybe he felt like he was losing too much. Maybe it became a thing of like, you know, like taking a back foot ready to jump rather than trying to slowly walk forward. It's like it's taking a step back, stabilizing and leaping. Maybe that's what's happening. The uh, governor thought it best if he and Rick spoke privately. About his butler. <laughs> I'm his advisor. Oh, I feel a bit bad for him. Look, if you and I are going to be out here pointing guns at each other all day, do me a favor. Shut your mouth. Whoa. We don't need this. We don't we'll need this, but bro, you better we'll watch out because you're going to get slapped. Enough. If he wants an arrow in your forehead, he will put an arrow in your forehead. Mm. You see, a mill's been left alone with him. That, that blows my mind. I'm more up on a catwalk. You know, what we should be doing is loading some of this firepower in a truck and paying a visit to the governor. We know uh, where he is right now. You suggesting that we just go in and kill him? Yeah, I am. Being on the sideline with my brother out there. Ain't sitting right with me. Three of them are right. The thing is, hear me out. I've got some new thoughts on Merle. I don't think he will betray his brother again. I don't, I don't know. I just don't think it's possible. Do I think he can betray the group? Yes. Especially when his brother isn't around, you know. Where does that mean he stands with the group? I still don't know. It's still shaky ground because everyone's going to have conflict with him. Can he be beneficial? Yes. Is he going to have issues being led? 
I probably. I'm just so conflicted because I actually want the better out of him. We're, like, I've seen him do horrible things, but I want the better out of him. Do I like him? I don't know. Do I trust him? No. Do I, like, want to trust him? Kind of. Do I want him to be beneficial? Yes. But it's just all over the place because I can't piece those other things together. My dad can take care of himself. It's my decision. It's final. But anyway, my point is, is I kind of agree. Woodbury takes west to the river. Prison takes east. Oh, wow, so they're no talking one crosses, about... No one trades. Negotiating like a... He's right. We should hammer out boundaries, then leave each other. I'm sorry, what is this? It's a solution. <laughs> wow, he's <laughs> not going to... Absolutely not. God's sake. I'm here for one thing only. Your surrender. Oh, you want to wow. surrender? Come get it. You think we hit Woodbury heavy last time? Just take it easy, all right? Oh. We're here to settle this. You're right. I don't think they Would are. Just step outside. No, don't <laughs> step outside. I don't. Talk to him. Oh, for God's sakes. Oh my gosh. So, Andrea's come here with all this negotiation stuff, like, oh, we can negotiate, we can talk about this, we can have some kind of peaceful, peaceful resolution. That sounds legitimate. Logistically, in my opinion, that's still wrong. Like, there's still things to work out from there, but stuff you can work out over time. The governor doesn't want that. He's, all he wants is surrender, and that doesn't stop there either. If we surrender, if we submit to this, it doesn't change anything. So you're the governor. That's, uh, that's their term, not mine. You like that too, don't you? Still, wasn't Merle your lieutenant? He was helpful, yeah. You blame him for scooping up Glenn and Maggie in the first place? Exactly. No. I was trying to sort it out when you attacked. I thought you'd take responsibility. Not take responsibility. I thought you were a cop, not, not a lawyer. Legitimately. Either way, I don't pretend to be a governor. I told you I'm the leader. You're the town drunk. Knocked over my fence or ripped up my yard. Professor, did such you a ever misjudge someone? Weird. Don't talk to me about misjudgment, man, bro. I have given too many second chances in my show to talk about misjudgment, bro. I've seen you. I see you. Andrew told me about your baby. That it might be your partner's. But failing to see the devil beside you. Oh, I see him all right. Somebody's got to keep a record of what we've gone through. Uh, It'll be a part of our history. But it's just kind of cool that they're going to come together and form their own opinions outside of leadership, you know, because I always said this. At some point, it's going to be more than just Rick and Philip. You first. <laughs> and you're just like, that's it. Pussy. Idiot. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to say it because it's just rude. But yeah, I like this. I like that we're trying to come together in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> I kind of like what this comes... I know it's scary right now because they actually don't like each other. But maybe they will. You know what, actually, it's kind of not smart from the governor. If he wants to get this revenge, unless he does not care about his image anymore, unless he doesn't care about what a bad action does to his image in the group and, and how it changes the group. If he doesn't care about that, then whatever. That's This is beside the point what I'm about to say. But if he does, which I think he does, him allowing us to mingle like this is like not good for him because eventually what's going to happen is when there is some kind of big conflict, people are going to choose not to fight for their leaders. You cut off your leg to keep the infection from spreading. Something they probably didn't know, yeah. How long after the initial bite? Immediately. Your stump, I'd like to um, <clears throat> see where the amputation was, how high about the bite. I'm not showing you my leg. It's important to have <laughs> I just met you. At least buy me a drink first. <laughs> uh, I kind of like this. I, like, I, tr I, I trust him as well. Like I, I, like I said, I think he has the right intentions. We're going to kill everyone we know. He's playing with his morals, man. My wife had been in an accident. So you just... Sorry, Mr. Blake, we did everything we could. Something's happening with the Wi-Fi, Kerr. I sat there, holding that phone, knowing that I would never see her again. Why does it look so bad? It's ruining the tense scene, man, talking about his wife. This is some new material. I genuinely believe his wife was in an accident now, and that's the initial thing that kind of semi-snapped him, and everything became about his daughter, and when that was taken from him, it just... What did she want? 
there's me to pick something up for dinner. You see, I can kind, I, I can believe what he's saying, but I don't. I think he's detached himself from it enough where he's using it as like emotional blackmail, a manipulation, should I say? You know, like he's trying to play on Rick's moral side to bring his guard down because I think he knows that he is a moral character. Look at those eyes. I think he knows he's a moral character, and that's the way in. You know, it's not a matter of connecting on a moral basis or an emotional basis. It's it's just evil. You know it is. What's Mel doing? Hey, you're not going. I don't need permission. Wait, so he's trying to leave. I mean, I would just I let, let you. You can't stop me. Just let him you're leave. You're gonna live here with us. It's gonna be on our terms. If Michonne can do it, why can't you? Cause it's my brother out there. That's why. Why? What's the matter with y'all? I agree with it. I'm not gonna let you put them in danger. Not up already, boy. Whoa. Oh, for God's sake. There's nothing wrong with the way he's thinking. There's nothing wrong with being stressed about your own brother. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Glenn is also right, however. I think he just needs to learn to trust the group, trust other people. And I'm, like I said, I'm not going to sit here and judge him completely straight away either because he's got a backstory, 100%. We already know he was abused as a child and there's lots about him that we don't know. What happened with Maggie? He's a sick man. I think she's realising who he is. Can't go back there. You belong with us. I don't How think she got that vibe last time, does she? What will she go against? Philip and risk. The thing is, I think her heart's too big to abandon the town, though. So goodness knows. I'm actually scared for Andrea at this you know, point. The in truth time. is, I didn't want any of this. They still think I know what I'm doing. Hmm. Do they though? I know you got guns. Hmm. That was quite a stash you bought back the other day. Eh? Now my people, they're not uh, combat tested like yours are, but I've got more of them. But the thing is, is I don't think you believe in your heart that you'll be followed like Rick would be. Let's not do this. We can walk away. Walk away? And what? You want us to surrender? It's all on your terms, though. You have something that I want. Be shown. One thing that makes this all all right. We're not moving on. What good would that do me? Best you stay where I can keep my one good eye on you. Rick's not going to give that up as well, even though he doesn't know her very well, and the group won't stand for it if he even poses that Michelle. question. See? Worth all those lives in your prison. The funny thing is, though, whenever someone says something like that, like that exact line, one woman, is this one person worth everyone in your prison? You're asking yourself that same question. Is this revenge for this on this one person worth all these people at my village? You know, like, it's, it's, it's a question that gets asked to both people. And ultimately, the governor has all the cards in his hand. He could make the decision right now to move on and to accept what happened, but he won't. So what now? Bang. Bang killers. Rick is. Then what? Mercy killing. Don't make him an assassin. Mm, but you are. When I have to be. And how do you explain letting me get away? See, like a switch. Must have been seduced. So you got slapped. You're coming with me, huh? We'll be home before you know it. I'm asking myself a massive question right now. Is there a possibility that his intention is to bargain for his life with the governor? Imagine that. He is on shaky ground with his brother, so that's the only th reason that I'm sitting there thinking maybe he won't do that. Even if he goes back with Michonne, do I think that the, f the governor forgives him? No. You're on your own request for help is legit like I kind of do like I think he cares about his brother pretty much every other character in this group I can sit there and say morally they probably wouldn't make a decision Mill, I have no idea I don't know where he sits I made it all about me and you needed your space and I didn't give you that finally discussion why don't you just see me I'm with you I'm always with you you know I love these two men. I love you. 
Smiles. Oh gosh, it's not the time. I can't do this. Not with so many people watching. Mm -hmm. There's a time and a place. Oh, for God's sakes. Four YouTube guidelines that will not be included in this segment in the reaction. Killer Michonne. Sort of beneath you, don't you think? He's playing the card of like, you could save your loved ones. Rejoice. And what stresses me out is Rick's had a chance to save people he's cared about before and he's made the wrong decision. Do we rule out the possibility that he makes the wrong decision here? I can't rule it out and that's crazy to think. But in saying that, I feel like the governor has caught him at the wrong bloody time because he is on point right now. Now I may be jinxing the crap out of this. Who knows? Just look at those eyes, man. He's already played his card. He doesn't care what happens to these towns. He wants Michonne. How do I know you'll keep your word? You you'll don't, stop. and he won't, Rick. Why are you even asking that? You can have everything you want. I told you I don't care about you. You think about it. But that's just bullshit, because Rick's considering it. I don't think he actually is. I think he's just playing that card in case he has to make that decision. He's, he's, he's he isn't ruled that off the table, he sort of sat there and said, look, there's a chance I may have to make a decision to save people I care about. It's almost like he's added it to the list of possibilities. But anyway, my point is, do I think Philip would stop if Michonne died? No. Now what happens when we starve him of the one thing he wants? Does it get worse? This is a massive point in the series. Massive. But Rick needs to play to his strengths. One strength. He's got people that follow him because they want to follow him, because they stand with him morally. Something Philip does not have, and I think eventually he will realise he doesn't have. I would say, well, he has got the advantage skill-wise. So, Philip, even him coming at all is a massive risk. Do I think he cares about that? No. But do his people care about that? Yes. Does that create conflict? What does Andrea think? What does she do? Does she convince people otherwise? Then what? Does it even things out, you know? There are so many questions. I think Rick needs to play to, needs to, play to his strengths, but not rule anything out. But not trust him at all. We can't gamble. Two days. Two days to decide. I'll be here at noon. Two days, noon. Andrew, you're not safe. Like I said, better to have someone morally intact on the bloody inside. But I love how like Daryl's just casually riding through walkers in areas of walkers that haven't been cleared out. I think the reason I'm struggling with this episode is because I'm kind of unsure about Rick. And what's he thinking? Uh, position gunman all around that beach store. The minute you see Michonne, you open fire. Kill the others, but you keep her alive. Oh my god. The best way to avoid a slaughter. Wow. That is a slaughter. So that's his plan. You won't have to eliminate Rick sooner or later. The way we can all live side by side. So now I see. Well, I already knew. It's just as Rick know that because Rick worked that out. I have faith man. Andrea please. Hope it works out. Please. For once Andrea please. Now what's our plan of action? Another so I met this governor. He wants us gone. Dead. So he's not gonna be fully he wants us dead. Honest. For what we did to Woodbury. Do I like that? I'm gonna tell you what I think about that in a second. Nothing about Michelle. Going to war. Wow, so not even a thought. Does Rick say anything? Herschel's already worked it out, hasn't he? Carolyn, I think we should take our chances on the road. Yeah, I don't this agree. together. So if we stay and fight. We stay and fight. So be it. Whoa. I kind of like the idea of just getting up and leaving, but this is the one chance we've had in a long time of some yeah, kind of choice. stability. Oh, Way see. out. So he is going to tell someone. What does he want? Michonne. He'll kill her. Exactly. He'll kill us anyway. He need to be scared. They are. Good. If that's the only way they'll accept it. She saved my life. 
Except for what? Wait, we had Maggie. If she hadn't come here, we never would have known they were taken. Oh my gosh. So here's me thinking Rex not considering it. But no, he's making them scared so that he can, if he needs to, pitch them an immoral decision which, when scared, may become easier. That's what the logic was behind that. Unless I viewed that completely... She's earned her place. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, she is. That's the thing, how far will Rick go to protect the family he's got left? Why are you telling me? I'm hoping you can talk me out of it. And he bloody well will. Come on, Herschel. Well, I have mixed emotions about Herschel knowing this now, but I'm glad ultimately that Herschel can probably talk to him, because Rick now, like, the parallel is insane. It's insane between Philip and Rick, and I'll get to that any second. One's fighting for one thing, one's fighting for the other. Okay, I've turned the dark brightness a bit down, so if it's kind of bad quality, I apologise. Anyway, where are we at? I'll start where I left off. Philip, he is fighting to avenge his family for the one thing he cares about, his family. Rick is fighting to protect his family, the one thing he cares about, his family. Philip will go to all extents to avenge his family. From what I've just heard, Rick believes that he might go to all extents to protect his family. Now, Rick sought out some kind of advice or guidance. I think deep down he believes that he will do it if he has to. I think he knows that he can and he knows that he will without someone stepping in. Him going to Herschel shows that he can see the other side still and he knows that he can feel it inside and he's trying to turn it off but he's asking someone to help him keep it on. It's like he is steamrolling, like animal instinct protecting his family, protecting his herd, whatever. But he also knows that that is dangerous. What do I think about all of that decision making? Now he hasn't told the rest of the group about me showing. Originally I'm thinking he's done that because he doesn't want them to even think it's an option, which is what I think original Rick would have done. Not even considered it, it's off the table. Rick from season one I think does that. Now this is a different Rick. Now we're still in uncharted territory. We haven't seen him sacrifice someone like this before. This for me is new. So I, that's why I don't know what to think. That's why I'm all over the place about that. What I think will happen, I've got a feeling Herschel will talk him out of it again. I don't think it'll be Rick that tries to sacrifice Michonne. I think other people have already got it on their mind, AKA Merle. And I think it will be for other motives. He thinks it'll be for the better of the group, for the better of him and Daryl. That's what I think's gonna happen. Like I said, do I trust his character? No. And as he said in that, that reaction, can he switch it switch on an immoral side to him when he wants to? Yes, and he will if he needs to. I believe Rick will be taught out of it, but I believe the fact that that question's been posed means it's probably already also been thought by other people. But he's got two days. Two days to decide whether the group's moral integrity, the group's integrity as a whole. Sorry, Friday's having nightmares. Probably like me tonight. Right. Ooh. She woke up finally. Yeah. Two days to decide all of that and make his mind up about what he does. I think Michonne needs to know, you know, weirdly. I think Michonne needs to know. Like, we, she can't, we can't just sit here and gamble or, or make decisions about her life without her being involved. Like, surely we give her some kind of decision. The moral conflict between Rick and Herschel is crazy. Even if we hand over Michonne, is that going to be the end of it? I do not believe so, and I think Rick also does not believe so. He's just looking at this decision now as a, is this one of those moments where I could have decided the fate of this group? And he knows now that he, he has to gamble and he will think about every decision like, what are the pos possible outcomes? Am I going to regret this again? But yeah, what time is it? It's getting kind of late. I think I've made my mind up about most stuff about this episode, especially about the characters. I think Philip, he's made his mind up. So in, in a way, Philip, I think, holds the ability more than anyone else to make the decision to stop this, but I don't think he will, which puts the decision in Rick's hand and what Rick does. Does he defend his group? Does he go on the run? Does he what? What does he do? This is a huge part in the show in the sense that we are facing an unprecedented threat. It's not a walker. It's not anything even close to a walker. It's someone who's lost a lot, who's angry, who seeks revenge who's methodical, he's borderline a tyrant, it is about facing somebody like that. I think the town right now is a facade. It's like, oh, I care about the town, this is all what I want for my people, blah de blah de blah but what he wants is me showing when she's dead, then what? I'm freaked out, if I'm completely honest. 
because I'm scared of his what he's capable of. He knows we're stronger than him. He knows we've got better chemistry than him. So what does he do? Manipulative warfare, mental warfare, get inside without getting inside, you know, and he succeeded. The first step is complete. Now it's just our job to keep strong. But anyway, I think I should leave that there. If you enjoyed it as ever, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for new content every single week. And of course, we on Instagram, Danny with two Ds. And let me know down below if you thought the episode, the reaction, and I'll be happy to get to those as soon as possible. But yeah, that's all from me, guys. As ever, this has been your boy Dan. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.